Hello everybody and welcome back to the Miser's Guide to Ebony. In this building spotlight video, we will be looking at the resource tile, the sawmill. We're going to talk about what the sawmill does, how to increase its production, um, the base output idea, and also talk about capacity. So starting off quickly here, we have the sawmill. If we click details, it says it produces lumber for your city. So it is one of the main sources of getting lumber to upgrade all the things that require lumber in the game. Um, the best way to increase your in-city production is to level up the building. So you can see this sawmill is only 33. Let me find one that is 35. Um, I do want to point out that the output here for a 33 sawmill was 30,400. So an extra two levels gets me, I don't know if I can even find one. Where are you? Definitely have one somewhere. There we go. All right. Uh, a couple thousand and that's per hour. That is the base output and then we are going to talk about base output and modifiers and what that all does. Um, so it does produce lumber resources that you use for primarily archers, some other uh, military units as well. Buildings require lumber, like it, it's a very substantial resource in the game, especially with the amount of people building archers and how effective archers really are. So sawmills are very important. You can increase your sawmill production by having the uh, lumber production water crystal active. So I'm going to put that on and uh, you can also increase it by having a wall general that does increase production. Like I have Shajar here. Um, I do want to point out though that uh, make sure that if you use something like Shajar and you put her as your wall general that you have her equipped with uh, gear and so on so that it is defensible in case you have a, a bubble fail and you could at least defend yourself properly. Uh, don't just put up a level one Shajar for the buff and you know bad things happen. Um, so that's two ways that you can increase your production. Uh, research is another way if you look at advancement tab you're looking for, nope, not this one, buck saw. There we go. No, that's gathering. Where it was, felling axe. Uh, felling axe increases the hourly production by 1000. So it increases that base output. Doesn't seem like a big number, but since that's every hour and then there's bonuses applied, it does make a difference. Um, we have advanced lumbering. It increases the production speed of each sawmill by 70%. You have also one more down here, super lumbering, which is uh, increasing the hourly production by 100%. All right, uh, there's one other major way that you will increase your production in uh, sawmills, and that's by giving that production boost here. So I'm not gonna do it that way. I prefer to do it over here, uh, city buff, and I look for lumber production. I already have one active. 24 hour sawmill speed up increases 100% of the sawmill's speed. Um, and I could use that, I already have one active, so there's no point. You'll also notice that I have an eight hour sawmill speed up that does double the amount. So instead of the 100%, it does 200%, but it has to be refreshed every eight hours. Um, the way that I get the 24 hour speed ups is I go to the black market and I'm constantly looking in here every day to do my daily activity and I collect all of the resource production 24-hour uh, speed-ups. I do, I do like to get those. Um, and then I also can get the eight-hour ones by going to speed-ups, scrolling down to the 24-hour ones. And um, if I do have a lot of them, like 95 and so on here, I can uh, compose them. It takes three 24-hour speed-ups to turn into one of the eight-hour speed-ups. Okay, but they are more effective if you have an excess. If you don't, then I would just use a 24 hour speed up um, and keep that constant. It's just a lot easier anyway. Okay, let's talk about resource collection. Um, so you did see me earlier, click on some of these. Uh, there's little bubbles that pop up on top of resource tiles when they are ready to be collected. Um, but the easiest way to do it is just collect the one on the warehouse, which if you click it, it collects all of the resource tiles in your city all at once, plus some gold from your subordinate cities as well. Um, so you do want to do that, it just saves a lot of time. Um, 
I do I do write in the the notes. I'm not sure which side it is here, uh, but anything that's uncollected, if you are unbubbled and you're attacked, um, that stuff is all going to be up for grabs by the enemy, even if it is below your uh, food protected. And that's why people go around hitting dead cities and so on that don't have any actual resources left uh, beyond that. Uh, protected amount, but they do have uncollected resources. Um, so that's a worthwhile uh, adventure for a lot of people going around hitting some well-producing uh, dead cities. Okay, we have the base output. Just a very quick look over here at the base output. Uh, we're talking about sawmills. So where'd that 35 sawmill go? Base output for a level 35 sawmill is 32,900, like some of the other buildings. Um, that is increased just by leveling the building up. Um, and the green amount, again, is the modified amount. So an additional 204,980 is produced every hour in this individual sawmill. The capacity is a very misleading idea. If you look at the tooltip here and I scroll down, it says, my uh, level 35 sawmill can only hold 394,800, but that doesn't really make sense, right? Then I would have to click it every hour or so, every hour and a half, and I'd, I'd basically have uh, reached my capacity. Well, that's not possible, and that's not actually what happens. Um, it's a very misleading amount. It doesn't really, it doesn't really care what the amount is. The game cares how much time it has been since your last collection. So you just want to make sure that you collect your resources every 12 hours or earlier to make sure you are constantly producing. If you only collect once a day, you're doing yourself a disservice because in CD production is actually very significant. If you have it built up and you have uh, the research and the buffs and everything, you can produce quite a bit very, very quickly. Um, so do keep that in mind and make sure you are doing this the right way. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, especially big thank you to channel members that did decide to join the Miser's Guide to Ebony. Your support is always very much appreciated. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.